Hello, welcome to AWS Glue ETL job demo. My name is Srikant Dagumali. I'm an analytics specialist solutions architect here at AWS. Here, we're going to talk about most common use case that is a company called ABC wants to build a data lake by extracting the data from the traditional RDBMS systems. Here is the architecture. We have Amazon Aurora MySQL database where it has customer's data and we're going to use AWS Glue crawlers to crawl MySQL data and populate that metadata information into AWS Glue data catalog. And in this demo, it is pre-configured. And at the center stage, we have AWS Glue ETL job, where it does the following transformations like filtering records, changing the schema, and finally loading the data into Amazon S3 as a file, parquet file format. Let's jump into the Glue Studio and see how it is done. Now we're in AWS Glue console. From the left navigation, navigate to the ETL jobs. Click on Visual ETL to other jobs visually. Visual ETL is a user-friendly, quick, and easiest way to create all your ETL jobs. As you can see, there are different types of nodes. A node can be a source or a transformation or a target. AWS Glue support different number of sources. And also there are built-in transformations which are readily available for your use. For instance, if you want to join two different data sets or if you want to change the schema or filter some records or drop some fields or if you want to do some aggregations, all these are readily available. And finally, you can load your data into different targets. Just like sources, there are a number of targets are supported. Also, you can subscribe to several connectors offered in AWS Marketplace, or you can create your own custom connector. So for our demo, just search for MySQL. MySQL is available as a source and target, and click on MySQL here. As soon as you click on MySQL, the data source properties will be appeared on the right side. And also, you can see the data preview and output schema of this data is at the bottom. Now let's say my data source name is MySQL customers. And as I mentioned earlier, the data is already pre-crawled and populated into AWS Data Catalog. I'm going to choose my database and also respect to table. Now click on the plus sign here to add your transformations. I want to filter some of the records. As you see, filter properties will be shown on the right side. Now I need to add a condition and my condition is where market segment matches to a value of household. Now let's add one more transformation, which is changing schema. And in the change schema, I'm going to rename the existing market segment column as market underscore seg. And finally, I'm going to write the output to S3. And in S3, I'm choosing the file format as parquet and with snappy compression, where I need to choose the target location. I have pre-created a target bucket and I'm going to choose that. And there is an option for me to update the AWS Glue data catalog as well. I'm going to select that and the respect to database and the table name as customers data. Now the next step is changing the name of the my glue job. So the script tab behind the scenes is going to convert all your visual representation of your job as a PySpark code. And in the jobs tab, basically you're going to choose permissions required to run your job and the resources and the runtime environment needed for your job. And click on save. Now job is successfully saved, and now I'm gonna run this job. You can check run details on this run tab. As you can see, job is running. You can find more details on your running job by clicking on this view details, where it will show you all the metrics, logs, and continuation logs. As you see, the job is succeeded. And let's verify our result set. Now we're in S3. Let's verify our bucket. As you can see, the output is in parquet format. Now we're in Amazon Athena, which is an interactive query service, and we can use standard SQL to query the data in Amazon S3. And as you see, the left-hand side, the source data is taken as AWS data catalog, and the respective database is selected. And now I'm going to execute the query select star from customer data. And as you can see, this is the result set stored in S3 and also the respective schema changes. From this demo, we can see Glue is able to select the data from MySQL, run the transformations, and make the result set available in Amazon S3 in a parquet format. And we are able to consume it by using Amazon Athena. Thank you for watching.